crafting friends, Jessica here with Tiny Worlds of Wonder, stopping in to share two new releases from Color It that I am so excited to debut for you here today. Color It has been so patient during the month I had to take off in November. Thank you, Color It. So I'm finally bringing these to you just a little bit later than anticipated. Both of these releases are already available, so make sure you check the link in the description below if you see anything here today that makes you feel as excited as it makes me feel. Now, I am a Color It affiliate, so when you follow that link, I get a small commission. Never any pressure to do that, but if you enjoy supporting the channel, I'm always super grateful. Hopefully, that just gives you a really convenient way to find some amazing, very high quality coloring books as well. Now, as a little perk for all the coloring lovers out there, Color It always offers to do a giveaway for all the new releases that we debut here on the channel. I will have more info near the end of the video about how you could get in on your own copy of The Roaring Twenties and Timeless Treasures. So excited. I love all things vintage. If you guys could come to my house right now, you would see vintage everything everything i love vintage everything <laughs> i sometimes joke that my decorating style is 1920s whorehouse and that is the inspiration <laughs> and it's not it's not too far from the truth <laughs> so let's get into this book called the roaring 20s which is going to be so much fun to check out now i have to give props to color it because my mail delivery person, who I understand is very, very slammed right now at the holidays, <laughs> stuffed this into my mailbox and bent it almost, almost in half when it arrived to me. I stuck it under some books. This cover, these two hard covers on the outside made all the difference in how this book looks right now, I have to say. So I can attest <laughs> that these books can stand up to a lot because they did in my mailbox. Here's our preface page. This is coloring book number 44, illustrated by Hasmi Mubarak. Hasmi Mubarak does a lot of their books that have a lot of portraits in them, I've noticed. A really talented artist. So always there's some kind of awesome activity or something on the blotter sheet in these books. So this says, ready to sound like Gatsby, here are some of the best slang phrases of the 20s. Have a swell time. That's pretty fun. This book belongs to you, so there's the nameplate. And let's just roll through some of the pictures you can look forward to coloring in this book. We have ladies. Of course, we have our flappers there. This very iconic, you know the iconic photograph this is based on? Very cool. Terrifying. Terrifying. I can't even imagine. This book is going to have a lot of portraits in it, I can tell already. I, I'm, that might be the one for me. I love coloring architecture. Our sassy lady there, lots of cars, vintage cars, fun. Of course we have some jazz going on there. Some boxing. There is really a little of everything in this book, I must say. Some elegant dancers. I do not think I know what's going on here, but I would be interested to know. Very cool. Fun stuff. Jazz club. dancing. That is a cool vintage car. I like that one. Some more dancing. Lots of music. <laughs> lots of music. And lots of faces. Lots of faces that can be colored in absolutely any way you wish. Mount Rushmore. For better, for better or worse, there's Mount Rushmore. This is, this. we've got some historical events going on here, I think. Interesting. Movies. It's 
So this isn't just strictly um, fictional pictures set in the 20s. This is this has like actual real events. I think that's Babe Ruth there. Some real events that did actually occur in the 20s. Interesting. I like that one. That's fun. Except you guys are going to laugh at me. I can't handle it when music notes are backwards. So all of these music notes, the stems are on the wrong side, like they're flipped backwards and they need to go this way. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to color that page because of that, but <laughs> silly. I'm a music, I'm a piano teacher by trade, so of course, of course I'm going to notice that. Some women voting for the first time there. Not all, but some. Lots of variety of pictures here. And lots of variety in whether we're doing landscape or portrait as well. Ooh, that'd be a fun one to color too. F. Scott Fitzgerald. Invention of photography, I'm guessing. That's the kind of swimwear I can get behind <laughs> right there. Television. Is television that old? Man, I am I am out of it. End of prohibition, I'm guessing. Some football players. There's there really is a little of everything here. Cool. I must say I'm not up on my on my 1920s history the way I probably should be. Radio. That looks like an airplane. That'd be fun to color. Wow. More music, of course. Oh, that would be fun to color too. Really cool. Be cool to look up some reference photos for that one. What would we do without vacuum cleaners? Life would not be what it is without vacuum cleaners. Nice. I'm guessing the invention of penicillin. So some historical events in there as well. And lots and lots and lots of faces. So if you love coloring portraits, this is a fun book. Really, really, really fun stuff. Be fun to color some things in this kind of gold color palette. Awesome. Okay, let's take a look at another vintage book here called Timeless Treasures. Now this one, when I found out this was coming out, I almost died. I almost died. <laughs> this is the book for me. I have found it, I'm pretty sure. This one says, illustrated by Jackie Lou Pareja, and of course, made in the USA. So, this tip is how to shade for more realistic coloring. Use black and white as a guide, figure out the shape of the shade, and find the light and dark side. So, some really cool instructions there. I love it already. Look at all those flourishes. Look at all those flourishes. <laughs> kind of a vintage dresser there. Some teacups, I already love, I already love it. I already love it, they had me at teacups. <laughs> kind of a mandala with lace. Beautiful plushy velvet chair to color there. Mm. Oh, guitar. With our music notes going the correct direction. That makes me happy. <laughs> Dog and cat. Oh, that one's going to be fun. I love, this is reminiscent of the cover, of course. And I love the way that they've done their sample coloring there. How it's a little bit faded out. That's, that's really neat. I might have to figure out how I can imitate that. Because my usual style is kind of bright. Zucchini Kitty would have some really, really good, some really good tips for that. If you haven't seen her channel. Okay, love the music notes. 
But your base clefts are backwards. The base clefts have to go the other direction. It's important. It really is. It's important. <laughs> All right, there's a cuckoo clock. A corgi! That just makes me happy. Corgi, corgis, I don't have a dog, but corgis are our family dog breed. That's what everyone in my family has. A crown, oh, very cool, that one's awesome. Some clocks. Well, that one's neat, it's got like a magical city springing out of our typewriter there. Nesting doll, very fun. That's going to be lovely. I can imagine like some jewel tones in that one. Beautiful. Reminds me of a scene from my grandma's house. <laughs> I love all things teapot, tea kettle, music, bird, a beautiful dress. Some of these with big open white spaces are intimidating to me. I might have to figure out how to add a little more detail to those. Hourglass with an owl. This looks like a lantern. Some beautiful flowers, so many beautiful flowers in this book. Vintage camera with some film reels going down at the bottom there. Pretty shoes, it could be dazzled this one. That'd be awesome. This one has a snake on it, I think. How cool, ooh. The sword, neato. Got a little piratey vibe there. Nice butterflies. A little telephone. Oh, how cool is that? An old ship with some waves. So much variety in these books. There's really a lot of different styles. A moped, <laughs> a moped in the sunshine, a piano, that's going to be fun, and all the notes and clefts are going the right direction. <laughs> I feel joy. <laughs> Perfume bottles. Really cool vintage lamp. Love it. My lighting is not so good today. I, we've had such a dreary few days here in Montana. No snow at all to speak of yet, which is very, very bizarre. It's really warm outside. There's just no sunshine. Jukebox. There are notes, some of our notes going backwards. Going backwards, it's kind of like letters. Notes are not reversible. <laughs> Oh, this beautiful Cinderella carriage. Love it. Treasure chest of beautiful things. Oh my gosh, you guys are as excited about this as I am. What's your favorite vintage icon? Like if you kind of think of something vintage, where does your mind go? Love it. Christmas! I love a little Christmas in every single book. I love that one. That's fun. I like coloring Christmas from about late October into like January. <laughs> into mid-January. This one's stunning with the fan and the koi and the waterfall in the background. That might, that might be one of my top picks in this one. Gorgeous. Love that. I kind of wish it didn't have the lettering on it, but there are things you can do <laughs> when pages have lettering that you're not so thrilled about. There are always ways to change the lettering. Carousel horse. I like the line variation on that one. There's some dark black lines, some fine lines. That adds a lot of detail. It looks very cool. There. Oh, what a beautiful book. This is, this is stunning. This might be one of my 
top three favorite releases from Color It. This is gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you so much, Color It, for sending me these books for review. Thank you so much for your patience in me getting these flip throughs put up. And thanks for offering to send one copy of each book to one of my lucky viewers. In the description below, you are going to find something brand new, and that is a giveaway sign up sheet. This is partially because trying to track down all my winners for giveaways can be quite daunting. So what I'd like you to do is follow that form, sign up on the form. You're going to need your username here on YouTube, your username on Instagram if you have it. You're going to need your mailing address and an email. This way I can contact you. I will provide, of course, if you're the giveaway winner, if I draw you with my random comment picker, I will, of course, provide your address to color it so they can ship the book to you, but no one's gonna see that information other than me. So that won't be shared with anybody, but it will really facilitate my giveaway process quite a bit. This giveaway is going to be open only to US viewers. If you're international, I apologize. Color it only ships here in the US at this moment. If you would like to get in on the giveaway, I would like you to sign up with that form no later than one week from today. I'll put the date on the screen so you can see how long you have. And then of course, if I pull your name through that giveaway form, I will reach out to you via email and let you know that that's coming. I hope you have really enjoyed seeing these brand new releases from Color It called Timeless Treasures and the Roaring Twenties. Make sure if you're interested in any of Color It's releases that you check the affiliate link in the description below. They have Christmas books, they have books on every topic, they have coloring supplies. These are great Christmas gifts, so be sure you check them out. You can also find a little savings down in the description below. I hope you have a wonderful week. As always, spread some joy wherever you are, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.